BWET Talk Radio. It's 5.30 p.m. You're listening to Backwoods Radio. This is Bobby and the Duke. Coming to you live from the Seagull Stadium in beautiful Port Nicola. Our top story today is still the outbreak in Yelltown. Tell us about that, Duke. An area of farmland outside Yelltown is still in quarantine one week after the deaths of three people with fever-like symptoms. Senator Sylvia Thurlow, head of the Bureau of Public Health, gave a press conference earlier today. Let me reassure the people of Yelltown that the risk of contagion is very, very small. However, if you do experience a high fever, nosebleeds, or coughing fits, please stay calm, stay where you are, and call the RHC emergency hotline on 111-111. That number again, 111-111. I hope our listeners in Yelltown are feeling fit and healthy because you do not want to miss tonight's big game. That's right, Bobby. Port Nicholas Seagulls versus my team, the Blue Ridge Raccoons. <laughs> Raccoons suck. Go Gulls. Haha. <laughs> Whichever team you support, the atmosphere here in the stadium really is electric. Hello? Harper, it is Rupert. Professor McBride, how are you? Not great, actually. There's a problem with my laptop. That's a very familiar phrase. I know, I know, but it won't charge. And I'm right in the middle of processing some crucial data. I'm supposed to be driving over to Port Nicola today and... Say no more, Professor. I'll grab my multi-tool from upstairs and be right over. (laughs) Oh, thank you, Harper. Uh, No problem. See you soon. Always the same. Huh, glue. Always useful. Whenever I had an idea as a kid, I would grab a light bulb and hold it over my head like a cartoon. Looking back, I was a pretty annoying child. Guess my stepdad was right. I suppose I could get rid of all this junk, in theory, but I'd prefer to keep collecting more. There it is. Good old multi-tool. Let's go fix the professor's computer. Hey there. Oh, Harper. Thank goodness you're here. Come in. What's the trouble, Professor? That blasted battery is trying to murder me. You know, for a scientist, you don't always... It will not charge. And I'm in the middle of modeling the latest data from my research team. It's been processing all night. If I lose power now, I'll have to start over. I need this analysis for a very important presentation at PNU tomorrow. Can you fix it? What's the presentation about? It's my analysis of factors leading up to the recent outbreak. Yelltown fever? Yes. No. Well, the trouble is, we don't really know what kind of disease it is yet. The Dean of Medicine asked me to address the virology department tomorrow. We're hoping my research might help fight whatever killed those people. Is Yelltown fever really that dangerous? I'm afraid so. The little brute seems to be acutely virulent. By all accounts, it kills in a matter of hours, not days. Jeez, hours? What if I've got it? You'd know, Harper. I'm told symptoms start appearing immediately after infection. Wow, those poor people. Don't lose hope, son. There's still time to contain it and prevent an epidemic. Isn't the government dealing with it? Ah, yes. They've placed us in the benevolent hands of the Rancho Health Corporation. I thought RHC said everything was under control. That's how you know they're cacking their pants, Harper. See, I know these people, and I know they'll struggle to fight this disease without my input. Can you find a cure? Uh, it's not quite as simple as finding a cure. But if anyone can beat this thing, it's my research team at PNU. They're the best in the country. All we need is a sample of the bugger. Any idea what's wrong with your laptop? No. I plugged it in, but the battery's still going down. Have you tried turning it off and on again? Very funny. Turning it off is exactly what I don't want to do. 
Are we safe here in Yelltown? I know it seems scary. Emergency measures, the treatment camp. But there's no reason to panic. So far, there are very few confirmed cases. Okay, I won't panic. Yet. Okay, let me see if I can fix that laptop. Thanks. Let's take a look here. There's your problem, Professor. The power cable's frayed. Dash and blast! How did I miss that? Eh, it's no biggie. I can patch it up with my multi-tool and some electrical tape. Oh, good. Yes, I'm sure I have some electrical tape. Somewhere. Uh, leave it with me, Professor. Hmm, no electrical tape in here. Just some dusty old vinyl records. Those are classic blues pressings, Harper. Remember, you used to listen to them on my old turntable. It's 2017, Professor. I listen to tapes now. No electrical tape here either. Why do you have so much junk? Junk? Out of interest, how tidy is your place right now? But I'm broke. You could use your sweet university dollar to hire a cleaner. Ha! Ah. This reminds me of when I used to help you out in the lab when I was a kid. Maybe we have different understandings of the word help. Ah, here's the electrical tape. Excellent! Can you fix a laptop now? Hopefully. I need to splice the cable before I tape it. Okay, I'll strip the cable and remove the frayed wire. Now, let's get splicey. <laughs> Looking good. Okay, let's make this safe-ish. All right, let's plug this baby in. Okay, she's charging now, Professor. Oh, you're a lifesaver, Harper. How much do I owe you? This one's on me. But a guy as smart as you shouldn't have to call the village idiot every time his laptop goes kablooey. Harper! I hate to hear you do yourself down like that. You're not the village idiot. I really appreciate your help. Sure thing. Anytime. What the... Hello? Jesus, are you all right? Get out of here. Leave me alone. But you need a doctor, or... Wait a minute. Is it... Is it the fever? Please. <laughs> Please. Get away from me. I can't just leave you here. I have to keep going. Keep going? Are you crazy? We, we need to get you to a hospital. Don't come near me. The blood. <laughs> the blood? Oh, Jesus. What should I do? I know where I'm going. Just <laughs> forget you saw me. I'm going to call RHC. No, not RHC. But you need a doctor. I just need you to leave me alone. I'm going to call them. Please, don't. Good Lord, Harper, what are you doing out there? Huh? Mrs. Olsen. Can't you see that woman sick? Call the hotline. She says she wants to be left alone. Don't joke with me, son. I'd call whatchamacallit myself if it wasn't for my sciatica. She's on death's door. Make the call. You're right. I'll call RHC. Well, hurry it up, then! RHC emergency operator, what is your emergency? Uh, my name's Harper Pendrel. I just found a woman, and she's really sick. There's there's blood everywhere. I think it's Yelltown fever. Where are you right now, sir? Um, I'm right at the town center. Uh, Swenson Alley. A medical team is on its way. Please stay where you are until they arrive. Hey! Hey, you! Sir, please confirm that you will stay... Sorry, sorry, I, I gotta go. She needs help. Sir, please stay where... You idiot! Uh, excuse me? You... <laughs> Let them right to me! They're coming to help you. Shut up and listen! <laughs> if they find you with me, 
They'll take you in for testing, too. T testing But I'm not infected. If they take you, you'll end up watching the big game from a body bag. But, but am I infected? If you do what I tell you, at least we have a chance. Do you have family I can call? Already. On their way. All you can do for me is <coughs> go to the hotel. Find Hallowell. Find who? Reporter. For the times, give the envelope. Envelope? What envelope? In the backpack. This, this is crazy. I... Take it, please. <laughs> Take it to Hillowell. Tell no one else. Okay, okay, I promise. Only <coughs> Hillowell. They're coming. Go now. <laughs> There she is. Please, go. <laughs> you see the one who called it in? Uh-oh. That was... awful. Should I have stayed with her? <sighs> When I was a kid, I always wanted a bed shaped like a rocket ship. Now I don't even have a bed shaped like a bed. But I decided to cover up the window. Sunlight makes it real hard to sleep during the day, you know? I prefer the window like this. Sunlight is plant food. That's right, ladies. It's my ham radio. Hey, Hopper, we love you. Your ham radio is so cool. Calm yourselves, ladies, please. I used to draw stupid designs for machines all the time. If I'd ever built them, I think they would have mostly exploded. Me, Mom, and Calvin when I was a high school freshman. That would have been about six months before she passed away. My trusty 40-watt chisel tip Langham soldering iron. You need a good soldering iron if you want to tinker with electronics. My old Gigamaster family entertainment system. I lost too many hours on the old GFES. The Gigamaster is dead. He's getting clogged with dust with the angels now. The soldering iron. My weapon of choice. Some of these are really old. I should probably throw them out. Mom. <laughs> she thought I was going to be some big engineer. My extensive wardrobe. I have exactly two pairs of pants. Ah, uh, my other pants. Your time will come, old friend. An old photo of Mom and Calvin in Greystone Woods. Yeah, I think I took that one. Mom always loved the outdoors. Me? Yeah, not so much. They have this old-timey photo booth at the State Fair. Mom, me, and Calvin got all dressed up in costume. Good times. I loved the State Fair, but I hated the mirror maze. Always had the creepy feeling someone behind the mirrors was watching me. Ugh. I think Calvin left most of these coats behind when he moved out west. Well, they're mine now. In Yelltown, the weather can get pretty rough come winter. Folk like their coats. Bad news, as usual. The rule is, if you don't open the cupboards, you don't have to clean the cupboards. You can't argue with the rule. Ugh, I should clean this place. Yeah, tomorrow. I remember lying on the floor watching Samurai Squad marathons on that thing. That TV will never work again. But, but I can't just throw it out. There's a spider living in there. I've always liked messing with old radios and appliances. I probably broke as many things as I fixed, though. A lot of old stuff. I like old stuff. Memories of better times. RHC emergency paramedics are here to protect your health, but why are they dressed like evil spacemen? 
Attention, Yelltown. This area is experiencing an outbreak. Know the symptoms. Wow, symptom list is long. Headache, fever, nausea, bleeding. Ew, gross. Bleeding from the nose, ears, mouth, or eyes? Mm-hmm. See the symptoms. Call the RHC emergency hotline on 111111. Well, I feel more relaxed. People frown on dumpster diving, but you can turn up some cool stuff. Old appliances, old comic books, and that would be old Mrs. Denman's pantyhose. Well, I'm traumatized. I'm not gonna take the pantyhose, am I? Huh. Well, maybe it'll be useful. I just hope no one saw me take it. Mrs. Denman? Are you okay? It's Harper from next door. Who's there? It's Harper Pendrel, Jeannie's boy. Harper, get back inside and put on a warm sweater now. But I... Do as I say. You shouldn't be out and about with this fever going around. Mrs. Denman's place. She used to babysit me when I was a kid. Meat loaf and fruit cocktail from a tin. Mm-mm. What a piece of junk. Hey, wait a minute. That's Professor McBride's car. Something's not right. I better tell the professor. It's locked, but she isn't looking good. Harper, I didn't expect... What's the matter? I... I saw an infected woman. What? Are you sure? Yeah, it, it was terrible. She, she had blood coming out of her mouth and nose everywhere. What if I caught Yelltown fever? What if that happens to me? <sighs> Calm down, son. If you're infected, then squalling like a bear won't help. Come here, let me check you for symptoms. Well, it seems you're a very lucky boy, Harper. So I'm... You're fine. You're not showing any of the symptoms. Clean bill of health. Oh, thanks, Professor. Oh, thank God. I'm not sure she had anything to do with it. The infected woman was talking kind of strange. How do you mean? She told me to find a reporter at the hotel. I think there's something not right going on here. Harper, I've studied countless outbreaks like this. Sometimes the panic and the fear are more deadly than the disease. Don't get caught up in paranoia. Remember, the only way to beat this thing is to wallop it with some cold, hard science. I called in RHC. They'll be able to help her, right? They'll take her to the RHC emergency treatment camp and put her on life support. Then, if her condition stabilizes, they'll move her to a specialist hospital. So I did the right thing. She was dying. What choice did you have? We need to get out of town. This disease is killing people. Try to stay calm, son. Why don't you come stay with me in Port Nicola for a while? I, I haven't been to Nicola since I dropped out of PNU. Then it's settled. I'll drive you over as soon as I've finished my presentation. Hold up a minute. That's a thought. This... This is excellent news, Harper. What are you talking about? What an opportunity. I'm going to need your help. What are you planning, Professor? A blood sample from that infected woman would be the first step towards a vaccine. I need you to sneak into the treatment camp and get one for me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Can't you just ask the RHC guys? Bah! <laughs> Rancho want a Rancho brand vaccine. They don't share data with lowly academics. Really? But people are dying. Exactly. With my research, I might be the only one who can crack this thing. Help me, Harper. Help the world. Oh, crap. Are you really serious about this crazy plan? Deadly serious. This is too good an opportunity to let pass. You'll be taking a big risk by stealing a blood sample, but you might also make history. Do me this kindness, and then we'll drive to Port Nicola together. <sighs> and uh, what will you do while I play gopher? Science, my boy. I have to finish tomorrow's presentation and pack up my lab. What's your plan again? For you to sneak into the RHC treatment camp and... Borrow a sample of infected blood. <sighs> I'd hoped it'd sound less crazy this time. Why don't you sneak into the RHC camp? They're running high security, an undisclosed location accessible only to RHC staff. Quick reminder, I'm not RHC staff. Ah, I have an old biosuit. Same basic spec as RHC issue. I'd never get into it now. 
but you'd be a perfect fit. Damn, I knew keeping in amazing shape was a mistake. So, where is this biosuit? Ah, yes. Here you go. Ugh, rubber. It's polyester. As you see, with a couple of superficial alterations, it'll be a perfect match for the RHC one. So, I pimp the suit, swipe a blood sample, and then we get out of town? Yes, although the last thing we want to do is involve a pimp. I saw your car in Jake's shop. It looks like a total wreck. No, no, no. Jake's just fixing the brake light. He said he'd drop around today. I think he lied to you, Professor. Looks like Jake left town, and I think he maybe cannibalized your jalopy for spare parts. Damnation! We'll need that car to get to the treatment camp. And Port Nicola. Your ride is garbage. What now? I hate to ask, Harper. Do you think you could take a look at her? You see, I have to... Keep doing science. I get it. Give me the keys. Thank you. We need that car working. Hey. This telescope is pointing right at Mrs. Denman's bedroom window. What? No, it isn't. It is. You can see right through the net curtains. Harper, you're not too old for me to give you a hiding. <laughs> tut, tut, tut. A respectable man like you, Professor. Harper. Leaving your paint lying around is very bad paintsmanship. Anyone could come along and take it. My guess no one will miss this. Looks like they're showing the game in the hotel bar. Well, I don't think that'll get many yell touters off their couches. Looks like Morton painted it. They say lightning never strikes twice. Tell that to this place. Hard to believe this is one of the least creepy looking hotels in the county. Hey, Morton. Hey there, Hoppo. Are you here to watch the big game? Everyone's downstairs already. Uh, I'd really love to watch it with them, but Mr. Seagull says I gotta stay on front desk. I don't remember you being such a big football fan. Oh, oh, oh I am, I am. I, I dig the Sea Dogs. The Seagulls, Morton. Uh, exactly. Uh, go Gulls! Woo! You don't know a thing about football, do you? No, no, I, I'm a fan all the way. Mm-hmm, yeah, of the Sea Dogs. Oh, damn it, Harper. Okay, I want to be a fan. Everybody's going to talk about the big game tomorrow. I don't want to be out of the loop when I, uh... <clears throat> Wait, is this football thing about a guy? Well, uh... <laughs> Bear's coming out of his cave. <laughs> no, no, I... I, I just may have a date with a certain gentleman acquaintance. Way to go, Morton. But he's so into sports. I don't want to look dumb. Mort, don't worry about looking dumb. You always look dumb. Hey! <laughs> but you're a nice guy. I'm sure you're gentleman. We'll see that. <sighs> I still wish I could watch the game, though. Sorry you're going to miss the big game. It's the worst. How's the hotel trade? Eh, could be better. This Yelltown fever thing is not good for business. Worse than the Yelltown fire and the Yelltown floods put together. On the bright side, not as bad as the Yelltown earthquake or the Yelltown hurricane. Why would anyone build a hotel here? What do you think about Yelltown fever? Real scary. I just met a woman. I think she was infected. What? An infected woman? Jeez, Hopper. I know. It was pretty awful. What did you do? I called RHC. Oh, I knew it. You're a good guy, Hopper. Pretty scary. You didn't get infected, though, did you? Nah, I haven't gotten sick since we were kids. Phew. Actually, I'm looking for a guest. Someone called uh, Helliwell. I, I don't know his first name. Helliwell? I'm sorry, Harp. There's nobody here by that name. But I was told to find Helliwell at the hotel. Told by who? That infected woman I told you about? Uh, she was probably just talking crazy with the fever and all. Oh, maybe. But it sounded so serious. Sounds like a wild goose chase to me, Harp. Are you sure you don't have a guest called Helliwell? Yep. 
Sorry, Hopper. But I need to find him. Well, I'm sorry. We ain't got your heli well here. Okay, I guess I made a mistake. Sorry about that, Harp. Never mind. Nice aquarium. Lights, treasure chest, some kind of demonic skull. This fish tank is better than the rooms. Sometimes I wish I was a fish. Then I remember I hate swimming with my own poop. A power outlet. Endless possibilities. Sorry, Hopper. Guess only. Meh. I don't have time to schlep through all the floors anyway. Hello there. Hey, what can I get you? I see you threw a pregame party. Sure did. You're welcome to stay and watch it with us. I like your banner. Thanks. Times like these, you gotta do what you can to keep smiling. We even watched a bunch of classic seagulls games on tape. It was great. Boo! Seagulls suck! <laughs> so how's the game going? Pretty exciting. You should watch it with us. We could use a few more raccoon supporters over here. If I wanted to see grown men fight over a piece of leather, I'd go to Discount Shoe Mart. They're showing the game there too? Huh. <sighs> what do you think of Yelltown Fever? It's just terrible. Bot taking's are way down. I guess a health scare keeps people at home. Worse, they start doing yoga and probiotic yogurt. It's the end of the world as we know it. I'm looking for Hellowell. Uh, for who? Hellowell? A reporter for the Times? I don't know a hell of well. Sorry, buddy. Well, I better go. Later. Hi. Hey. Howdy. What are you guys up to? We're watching the big game. What else? The raccoons are about to pound the seagulls. Dream on. The seagulls got this in the bag. You wish. How's the game going? It's looking good. The goals are in the lead. Not for long. What's with all these old videotapes? We had an awesome pregame party this afternoon. Ah, uh, yeah, awesome. We watched five decades of Seagull's highlights to get us in the mood. I get the feeling you didn't both enjoy the pregame party. Yeah, my unlucky friend here is a raccoons fan. The raccoons are awesome, and your stupid party was boring as hell. Oh, it was amazing. When we crushed the Vandals in the playoffs? My personal highlight. Boring. The division final between the Seagulls and the Wolves? Oh, man. Mondo boring -o. Only one game against the Raccoons. And naturally, the Raccoons got their asses handed to them. <sighs> I remember that Wolves game. I tell ya, Evan Taylor played the game of his life. It was a fluke. Fluke nothing. Taylor was a genius. Six touchdown passes? Must have been May 1999. What a day. That Vandals game was a classic. Yeah, it was this drizzling June evening back in 78. And the Vandals were pummeling you into the dirt. Yeah, until the last quarter. Did you ever see a more amazing comeback? I'm sure the Seagulls versus Raccoons game was fun to watch. Oh boy! You got lucky that time, Merle. 86 was a long time ago. We got a score to settle. Bring it on. Anyway. Do you know someone called Hellowell? Sure do. Hellowell White. Running back for the Seagulls, 92-94. I think he meant a guest, Merle. Sorry, we don't know any Hellowell. Did you hear about that disease? Oh, we heard about it. Real frightening. That's why we took safety precautions. I'm wearing my Lucky Seagulls boxers. What? How are they going to help? That's what I told them. Lucky boxers indeed. Useless compared to my Lucky Raccoons bra. I gotta go. See you later. Goodbye. Ah, the junkyard. I wonder if Leroy's home. The TV VCR combo, the pinnacle of home entertainment systems. This thing's actually in pretty good condition. I wonder if it works. I'm sure Leroy won't mind if I borrow it.
I always keep a keen eye on the scrap electronics. I found some sweet radio stuff in there in the past. Looks like business is... rusting. It's not as busy as it was back when I worked for Leroy. Won't be long until the crane becomes part of the junk pile itself, the circle of life. I better not mess with the crane without a good reason, even if it is fun. I used to operate the crane for Leroy sometimes, but I always prefer getting hands-on. It amazes me how much stuff regular folk just throw away. That's planned obsolescence for you. Leroy doesn't usually mind me being a magpie for electronics, as long as it's going to a good home. Hard to believe I once picked up a working 76 Kojak transceiver from here. I always like rummaging in the junk, seeing if I can turn up something useful. Looks like business is... rusting. Oh my Jesus, a pain atomizer. Oh man, these things are so cool. I always wanted one of these for my model planes, but Calvin said they made too much mess. I wonder if this baby still works. I'm sure Leroy wouldn't deny me a chance to fulfill a childhood dream. Leroy's trailer. He lives here all year round. You know me, Hop? Junk is my life. Hey, Leroy. Hey, Hopper. How you doing? How's the junkyard business? Ah, oh, things have changed since you used to work for me, Hop. Yes, sir. Things have changed. Leroy, you're currently watching a football game instead of working. Things haven't changed that much. <laughs> you hear about this, uh, Yelltown fever business? Yeah. Ain't nothing Yelltown can't handle. I don't know. I think it's pretty serious. In my time, I've seen floods, snowstorms, rains of frogs, earthquakes, volcanoes. There's no volcano in Yelltown, Leroy. Yelltown folk can handle one little plague. That's what I'm saying. Are you watching the game? Of course. I never miss the big finale. Wanna join me? No thanks. I got too much on my mind today. Not me. <laughs> How's the game going? Looking pretty good. The seagulls are dominating, but the raccoons have a good team this year. Could go either way. Talk to you later. Bye, Hop. Jake's compressor. These things are expensive. Jake wouldn't leave it lying around unless he wasn't planning to come back. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, holy moly. The engine's been stripped. I think the engine needs some more coolant. Dang, the car battery is missing. Ah, oh, there are two spark plugs missing. This car is in ridiculous condition. That's the radiator. Looks like a copper brass alloy. Narts, the radiator hose has a huge leak. At least the oil level is fine. It looks like the fan belt is missing. Hey, Leroy. Hey, Hop. You mind if I borrow some bits of junk from the yard? Working on a new project, huh? Sure, take what you need. But please leave all the car parts. I'm turning a good profit on them right now. Um, actually... I'm trying to fix this broken down car. Could I please take some spare car parts from the junkyard? Papa, you know I'm always ready to help a buddy. You done me more good turns than I can count. Oh, thanks, Leroy. But car parts fetch a good price. I might need just... One more good turn. Sure. What do you want? Could you get me a drink? I'm dying of thirst here. The hotel bar won't serve me after I... You know, with the thing. Yeah, I remember. I don't. I blacked out after the fondue fountain. Come on, buddy. Just bring me a drink and you can have whatever car parts you need. Okay, okay. It's a deal. Talk to you later. Bye, Hop. Hello there. Hey, what can I get you? Barkeep, give me a drink. Barkeep? Give me a beer. Sure. You got your ID? ID? No problem. Um, I guess I must have left it in my other pants. I can't serve you unless you can prove you're over 21. Uh, I can sing the entire Samurai Squad theme song. The original, not, not the remake. No ID, no alcohol, buddy. Well, I better go. Later. 
<laughs> I knew I left my ID in here. Hey, what can I get you? About that drink. What's your poison? Give me a beer. Sure. You got your ID? Of course. Here it is. Cool. Here you go. Thanks. Here's your drink, Leroy. Ooh, thanks, Hop. You come talk to me about those car pots anytime. Hey, Leroy. Hey, Hop. About those car parts. Yep. I need some coolant. Yeah, Jake had some bottles of coolant in his garage. I picked them up when he left. Better than let the teens try to drink them or smoke them, am I right? Very thoughtful. Ain't I a saint? Do you have a fan belt? Nah, no resale value. Oh, damn it. I need one. You can always try jewelry rigging it with something elastic. Is it safe to jury rig a fan belt? Sure. I mean, what is safe anyway? I'm here drinking in the junkyard. The junkyard is hurtling through space on a rock. Have a sense of perspective, why don't you? What about a car battery? Yeah, I was using one to jumpstart a tractor early in the week. Seemed to have plenty of juice in it. You say you have a car battery somewhere? I had it out when I was helping the farmer change tires. Darn thing can have got him far. Do you have any spark plugs? Nah, unless there might be some in the old car engine hanging on the crane. Great. Can I have them? Sure, if you can get it down yourself. I'm watching the game. Sure thing. Do you have a radiator hose? I do. I tried to use it to connect a gas cylinder to my stove, but it wasn't the right size for the nozzle. Thought I'd better give up before I blew the caravan to kingdom come. About that radiator hose? Sure, take it. It's probably still with the gas cylinder. So, can you give me a bottle of coolant? Which kind you need? Um, are there different kinds? Sure, take a look. Wow, what's the difference? Use the wrong one and your radiator's kaput. That's the difference. You really don't want to put organic coolant into a copper brass radiator, no sir. Right. I think G13 is the right one. You sure about that now? I know what I'm doing. All right then, here you go. Thanks. Let's have a look here. Ah, there it is. I found the battery. Neat. Here, junkie, junkie, junkie. Huh, just some rusty strips of sheet metal. Nothing interesting here. Okay, gas cylinders, gas cylinders. Ha, this looks like a radiator hose. I hope it still works. Okay, Mrs. Denman's underwear is worth more than she knows. Hey, Leroy. Hey, Hop. About those car parts. Yep. Could you pass me a bottle of coolant? Sure. Which one? I need a bottle of G18. You sure about that now? I know what I'm doing. All right then, here you go. Thanks. The lever controlling the crane seems to be stuck. Yeah, the old girl might need some greasing, if you know what I mean. I do. At least I hope I do. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is the right coolant. Hmm. I could use this hose to siphon off some oil, but it's way too long to work as a siphon. Let's shorten this a little. I can use this hose to siphon off a little oil. Okay, so I just have to suck in a little and then... <laughs> oh, well, it worked. Blech. That should do the trick. Whew. Hey, there are some spark plugs in that engine. 
I fixed the car. McBride will be like, Oh, Harper, you're, you're so good at fixing cars. And I'll say, Ah, don't mention it. Hey, Professor. Hello, Harper. I fixed your car. Oh, wonderful. Is the bio suit ready? I'm on that. Marvelous. Maybe I can add that red stripe with the paint atomizer. Hey, that worked pretty well. I'm a true artist. I got the red stripe on my suit. Still need the RHC insignia. Huh, that could work. Super stickum glue. Huh, the nozzle is jammed. I'll cut the tip of the nozzle to free the glue. Done. Okay. Ugh, sticky. Yes, this will work. Looks like I have a pretty convincing RHC outfit on my hands. Uh, I think the suit is ready. Wonderful, Harper. Well done. Excellent. Then we're all set. Except, in spite of my best efforts, I haven't been able to locate the RHC treatment camp. What? You don't know where the camp is? Well, I know it's somewhere out of town. Why don't you ask around? I'm sure someone has seen something. Ugh. <sighs> Look what I found. Hey, thanks, Hopper. Can you get the game on it? I hope so. Just give me a minute. Oh, oh boy. Oh, boy. I need to connect it to an outlet. Oh, the power cable has been cut. Damn you, roofless metal thieves. Pretty festive, huh? Huh, that loose cable makes it a little difficult to read the sign. Let's fix that, Pendrel. Ah, whoops. Okay, let's see. Oh, hold up. I need to insulate the exposed wires before I connect the cable to the outlet. I don't want to be responsible for electrocuting Morton. Not again. This should do the trick. Dang, it's not working. Aw, oh, man. It won't turn on. Guess that's why it got junked. Let's have a look. Aha! Uh -huh. The connection is broken by a cold solder joint. Can you fix it back at your place? What do you think, Mort? Okay, let's repair this bad boy. That should do it. Okay, Mort, here you go. Did you fix it? Can you put the game on? Sure, buddy. Oh, thank you, Hopper. It's working, but I don't think I can get Cable Sports HD on it. Hey, what channel is this thing on? I'm pretty sure they ain't the right teams. Oops. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. You're welcome. Amazing. There actually are some guests in this hotel. Uh, no hello well, though. Hello, sir. This is front desk. Mr. Carrington speaking. I'm looking for a person by the name of Hellowell. Then you're calling the wrong room. Good day. Hello, is that uh, Mr. Hubbard? Oh, why, yes. Vern Hubbard here. I'm looking for a reporter called Hellowell. Reporter, eh? Writing a story? No, I'm just trying to find Hellowell. Hellowell? That your source? No, I... If I was you, I'd call up all the guests in the hotel and interrogate them. Thanks for the tip. Are you gonna put me in your story? Um, sure. Take care now. Hello, Mrs. Winham. This is the front desk. Okay, yes. Hello. 
I'm looking for someone called Hallowell. Hallowell, could that be the name? Hallowell, good name, strong. Hallowell Steel, Hallowell Steel, no. I don't understand. Do you know Hallowell? Hallowell might just be the protagonist in my upcoming novel, A Nightingale on Dawn. Saxon, Hallowell Saxon, that's it. I must go. Hey, this is the front desk. Pastor Isaac McCaffrey. I'm looking for someone. Mm-hmm. I've been there, looking for someone to take the pain away. No, I... Looking for a woman, looking for a bottle, looking for light in all the darkest places. Did you know there's a good book for folks in your situation? Pastor Isaac McCaffrey's Guide to Self-Improvement. Only $14.99 plus tax. Swing by my room if you want a signed copy. Hello, Dr. Wells. This is the front desk. Yes? I'm looking for a person called Hellowell. You have your wires crossed, young man. I am a biofiltration consultant to the Yelltown Municipal Sewage Facility. Unless you work for the Yelltown Municipal Sewage Facility, I have nothing to say to you. Hello, uh, Ursula James. This is the front desk. Yes? I'm looking for someone named Hellowell. Unless they're part of the birdwatching society, I wouldn't know them. What was the name again? Hellowell. No, doesn't ring a bell. Sorry. Hello, Miss Clark? Yes? What now? Uh, I'm looking for someone called, uh, Hellowell. <gasps> Hold on. Sorry, hon. No Hallowell's here. But... Later. Hello, sir. This is front desk. You again. What is it? Are you expecting a message? What kind of message? Um, I have a message, but I'm not sure if it's for you. Saints alive, son. Is this a joke? Unless you have a message for Huxley Carrington with two R's, leave me in peace. Hello, is that, uh, Mr. Hubbard? Ahoy there. Are you waiting for some kind of message? Oh, always. My wife often sends me messages. Sometimes I'll find an old fishing fly in a wrong drawer and I'll think, that's Martha. Sorry, I think we're talking at cross purposes. Why, there's nothing more dangerous than cross purposes. Uh, thanks, old timer. Hello, Miss Clark? Yes? What now? Are you expecting a package of some kind? Maybe. What kind of package? Well, it's sort of a secret. Like a secret you might smoke? Uh, no. Damn it. Hogan, tell your friend to... Hello, uh, Ursula James. This is the front desk. What do you want? Are you waiting for a message of some kind? Well, I was expecting to meet a member of the birdwatching society. Um, I, I don't think this message is about birdwatching. Then I guess you have the wrong room. Sorry. Hello, Dr. Wells. This is the front desk. <sighs> this better have something to do with biofiltration. Are you expecting a message? Yes. My meeting with the biofiltration committee was cancelled. The Yelltown Municipal Sewage Facility is all in a flap because a few farmers have got the sniffles. Meanwhile, I'm stuck in this dive waiting for them to reschedule. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, this message isn't from a biofiltration committee guy. Blast. Well, when they call, put them straight through. Hey, this is the front desk. Speak to me, son. Are you waiting for a message? Most definitely. My mind is always open to heavenly inspiration. No, I mean a real message. Like, uh, something in an envelope. Ah, I gladly accept donations to the Pastor Isaac McCaffrey Ministry. Um, I don't think there's any cash in this envelope. Could there be a check? I doubt it. Hello, Mrs. Winham. This is the front desk. What's the news? Are you waiting for some kind of message? I always read the newspaper for inspiration. I am a writer, you see. I write. Do you read the Port Nicola Times? No, I take the Arbuter's Hill voice. The classifieds in the voice are much spicier. Classified ads. 
A coded message between lovers. That's interesting. Port Nicola Times News Desk. I'm afraid the night editor is just leaving. Hey, sorry to bother you. I have an inquiry about a journalist called Hellowell. Hellowell? Oh, Hellowell. Yes, she's done some freelancing for us recently. She has? Anything I might have read? She's contributed to our coverage of the outbreak in Yelltown. May I ask what this is regarding? I have a message for her. You can leave your message with me and I'll pass it on when she checks in. Uh, no, I need to give it to her. I think it's pretty urgent. I'm sorry, sir. I just can't give out personal information. Yeah, I, I get it, but... Thank you for calling. Creep. Hello, sir. This is front desk. You again. What is it? I hope your room is in order. <laughs> in order? It's barely fit for human habitation. The ceiling, fan, bathroom light, and shaver socket are broken. The bed, while a source of great entomological intrigue, is of little use for sleeping. And the carpet! I can only imagine you acquired it from a 22nd Street movie theater. Uh, but apart from that... Hello, is that, uh, Mr. Hubbard? Ahoy there! Is everything in order, sir? Well, I had hoped to do a little fishing, but they're saying seniors ought to keep inside. That's probably for the best, Mr. Hubbard. This fever is pretty nasty. Puh, I had it all anyway. You name it. Measles, chicken pox, underday cough, women's lib. Women's lib? Where? Hello, Miss Clark? Yes? What now? I hope you're enjoying your stay. I didn't choose this hotel for the cold meat buffet, hon. I'm out here in the boonies for a little privacy and... Hold on. I can ask him. Yeah, okay, fine. I'll ask him. Uh, yeah. Is there a cold meat buffet, by the way? Um, I'm afraid it, uh, got warm. Hello, Miss Clark? Yes? What now? I read an interesting article in the paper today. Read an article, did ya, hun? Okay, you got me. Hope you're happy. Octavia Clark isn't your real name, is it? Great work, Kreiskin. Who do you work for, Inquirer? Or are you one of Daddy's goons? Can a real estate heiress check into a hotel without you jackals swooping like a flock of wolves? Um, sorry. Wrong number. Hello, uh, Ursula James. This is the front desk. What do you want? I read an interesting article in the paper today. The Port Nicola Times printed a piece about this Yelltown fever business. They... did they? I don't know anything about the outbreak. I'm just here for bird watching. You should read it. It's pretty scary stuff. People are dying, like, in the streets. That's what I hear. Still, I don't see what this has to do with me. I'm just a bird watcher. Apparently, a rare golden eagle has been sighted in this area. Is that the real reason you're here? If you're trying to scare me, it's not working. Goodbye. Wait. I have a message. This dying woman told me to find you. Dying woman? God damn it. <sighs> okay, let's start over. Okay, Miss Halliwell, I have a message for you. I think it's important. Would you mind if we met in person? My ear kind of aches from the phone. Jesus Christ. Okay, go down into the hotel bar and wait for me there. H how do I know you won't leave the hotel? You don't. 